Hello everyone, Buxton23 here and welcome to episode number 8 of Manager Mode. This is once again with Manchester United and as you can see here, the board are very happy with my performances so far. Probably because we've won most of the games and done well in Europe. As you can see in the last game, Vidic got injured and he will be out for 4 weeks. We do get a play request here from Andres Pereira, I think his name is, who I've never heard of but since the next game is actually in the League Cup, I believe, I thought I may as well try him out. And that's the team we end up playing for the next game. Barely anybody who people may know in that squad, but never mind. It's against Wolves, which should make it a very interesting game. So, yeah. This game was actually end up, end up being really, really annoying. As you can see here, nice passing. Pereira and Shaw did link up very well in the beginning. Like again, once again, nice through ball to Pereira. He crossed it and Fletcher heads, but it was just wide. At first, I felt like this player was pretty good because he was playing really well for us. He showed good signs of how he could play in the future. Giggs here wins the ball, he ends up crossing it and Hernandez heads, but nice save from the Wolves goalkeeper. They end up clearing it and playing a nice ball over the top, which is saved by Haya. I could have put to Stegen in the net, but I forgot about him completely. I should realistically be playing him a lot more often. So yeah, bad corner really, clear it well, nice tackle there, and keep it nil-nil for half time. Pretty boring half, that one. Wolves were a bit better than us in that half, having more shots and more on target, but we had a little bit more possession, which we didn't really do much with. So into the second half, we get a nice ball there through to Genesai. But nice save there once again by the Wolves goalkeeper. Here Giggs plays a nice chip through ball to Hernandez. Which he does well to score to make it 1-0 in the 67th minute. So at this point I play, I'm feeling pretty confident that we could go on and win 2 or 3 nil. But then the cheese started happening straight after this goal. Well not straight after but literally after that this goal that started happening. Don't know what the hell the hail was doing then, he should have realistically caught it because he could have done. Won the ball then, but the other player tackled me. Won the ball then, then my player decided to stop my goalkeeper from getting it. Goalkeeper then ended up kicking it out and player shot, hit the post. And Sacco ended up scoring from a deflection. That was the most cheesy goal I've probably conceded on FIFA so far. To make it 1-1 on the 85th minute for, really they didn't deserve that. And straight after, from kick-off, they ended up winning the ball there quite fairly. And Sacco was just unstoppable. I tried stopping like three or four times. Goalkeeper even decided to come out, kick it, and it straight, kicked straight at him. And... I got really annoyed at this point, so I decided to make some quick substitutes. I could put on the likes of Young, I think I put Young, uh, Royce and Balotelli to try and turn the game around. And it did kind of help, as you'll see in a bit. But seriously, these were the cheesiest goals I've ever conceded on FIFA, and I can't believe it, I just came in manager mode. If it was Ultimate Team, I'd probably I'd I'd been so pissed off. Just show making substitutes. Gigs coming off, I believe. So I take off all the old and really young young players who are slow or very unexperienced. And not long after this, we end up having a good chance here. 
with Royce. But the keeper does well once again to save it to keep it 2-1 to them. So we end up having a corner, which is probably our last chance. Which we make nothing from. Draxler here just fails. And they clear to keep it 2-1 to them at the final whistle. Sorry for my voice in this episode, it's quite croaky. So yeah, they end up having more shots, more on target, more possession. Probably more deserved to win it, but those last two goals were so cheesy. I can't believe we actually lost, as you can see here. Everton won 6-0 against Chesterfield. Liverpool won 4-0 against Burnley. Man City 4-0 against Port Vale. And Southampton won 3-0 against Cardiff City. So we were the only giant team that lost. So we're going to the next game, one in redemption. And as you can see here, we're four points behind Spurs. Not looking so bad so far in the league. That's the team. Rooney's our key man scoring three goals so far in the league. And we do get to a good start. Nice chip through ball to Balotelli from Rooney. He shoots and he hits the crossbar. So I thought once again it was going to be one of those games. Rooney here has a nice chance. And nice save from the goalkeeper. So once again it was looking like it was going to be one of those games where he had millions of chances but no goals. Once again, another header, but did well to save there. So going half time, nil nil. And as you can see, all of the teams are doing quite well, apart from Manchester City and Liverpool. So yeah, realistically wanted to see the Spurs score, but they weren't playing today. So straight after kick off, we play here with Rooney. And play chip through board by Telly. Which keep saves once again to keep it no no so far I say Ben Foster has been man and match for them in the goal and we have gone here which I don't know what on earth player was trying to do there but voice here plays oh no he gets tackled we end up winning the ball here and voice ends up having a shot which just goes wide so it's still nil nil at 64th 74th minute we have a chance here with Anichi B, which keeper does well to save. So yeah, Rooney's here on the ball. He crosses and Bell Telly scores header. I think that's like the sixth goal they've done that in these past two episodes. So a nice link up play for Rooney and Bell Telly to make it 1 0. And on the 87th minute, Rooney plays it down to Royce. And Roy scores, I think it's his first goal for the club on the 89th minute to make it 2-0 and a nice win at the end. So yeah, it ends up finishing 2-0. Fully deserved, only we had millions of chances compared to them. And yeah, thankfully it didn't end up being a really annoying game where we end up having loads of chances but no goals. So yeah, just showing some other chances there at the end of the match. Before we go and look at the match facts. So yeah, I believe we end up looking at match facts right now. As you can see, we had 8 shots to fair 2, 7 on target, a little bit less possession, but overall good game. So yeah, thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and watch previous episodes if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.